Hello and welcome to this training session on how to use Britannica School for lesson planning. Britannica School is not only a great place to collate reliable and trustworthy content, but it can also be used to maintain frequent communication between students and educators. This is whether you are working from home or in the classroom. To show you this, I'm going to give you a quick overview of how to use our personalised area resource pack. So let's say I'm planning a lesson on Leonardo da Vinci and I want to collate resources to share with pupils for further reading and to set tasks. First, what I need to do is to create my own personal account within Britannica School. To do this, I need to click on the top right hand corner where it says sign in and create an account. This is very simple. All you need is a username and a password and an email address if you're an educator. An email is optional for students for safeguarding reasons. So I am now going to sign in to my own personal account. And as you can see, when I do that and I click back into intermediate, the top right hand corner changes and you'll now see my content. If we click into this, it will now take you to your own personalized teaching space where you can begin collecting resources and creating schemes of learning. And so as you can see at the moment, anything that I have saved in Britannica School is sitting in this area and sits in the favorite section. Anything that I have organized into resource packs will be sitting in this area. Like I said, I'm going to focus on, let's say, Leonardo da Vinci. And so I want to create a new resource pack completely. To do this, I simply just need to click on this button, name the pack, let's go Leonardo da Vinci, and then click create a new resource pack. Once I've done that, if I click into this, it gives me the option to add specific details about the pack as well. To do this, just simply click edit pack up here, where you can go through and add uh, more specific details, such as the grade range, any other descriptions and subjects. And then more importantly, at the bottom, you can actually upload your own documents, which we're gonna come back to later. This can be external worksheets, uh, links, or anything else that you would like to share with the pupils that doesn't sit in Britannica's content. And so all I need to do now is click save resource pack. Okay, and you can see the details that I've added have changed. I'm now ready to start collecting resources. So first, what I'm going to do is search for Leonardo da Vinci. And as you can see, before I finish that, it gives me a list of recommended articles. So I'm just going to click on this first one up here. So let's say I've read this article and I've decided that I want to save it for either a research project or like I said, to share with my pupils. I can share this single article by clicking on this arrow where I have the ability to send via email or via Microsoft Teams or Google Classrooms, depending on what you use. I can also, as I've mentioned, save this to the resource pack that I created earlier. And all I need to do for that is click on this star. So whenever you see something that you want to save on Britannica, all you need to do is click the star. The star will then be colored in, as you can see in this corner, meaning that it's been favorited. And it means it will automatically go to that favorite section that I showed you earlier. You will then, as you can see, also have the option of adding it to an existing resource pack or creating a whole new pack for it to sit in. In this case, I'm going to add it to a pack that I created earlier, Leonardo da Vinci, and click done. And so what you'll see now is if I go back into the My Content area, not only will the article appear in my favorites, like I said, but if I click into resource packs and Leonardo da Vinci, 
you'll see it's also sitting in the pack that I created. Let's say now I have saved all the content I want for this resource pack. As I mentioned, you're also able to upload your own documents to personalize the resource pack. And just to remind you to do this, all you need to do is click edit pack at the top of the page. We'll go past these details once more. And if we go to the bottom, you'll see we have the option to upload a document. So I'm going to click on this. And let's say I want to add a worksheet for the pupils. I can select that document. And then it will give me the option to tick this button just to say that this is my content and upload. Once I've uploaded everything I want to add to the pack, I simply save resource pack. And you'll see when I go back, it is sitting up here with my other resources. Not only can you add resources, but we also give the option to add notes. This could be notes for yourself if a pupil is doing research projects, or it could be uh, a note you want to make regarding when to use it as a resource in the lesson. So this could also be notes that you want to share with the department. So if I click add note, let's say, for example, I say teach this to your grade sevens by the end of the week. A little instruction for my department. I could also use this to set tasks for pupils. For example, I could also write, summarize this article in five bullet points. Once I have finished in, um, editing or putting in any notes that I want, I can click save note and it'll appear under the article. So once you have collected your resources, uploaded any additional documents and made any notes that you need, the final feature I would like to show you is the ability to share the pack. To do this is easy. All you need to do is go to the top and click on share, where it'll then give you the option to share it through a link to copy. It'll also give you the option to share it via email where you can type in the email addresses that you want to send it to. Or, like I said before, with Microsoft Teams or Google Classroom, depending on what your institution uses. Thank you for watching this demonstration on how to use Britannica Schools Resource Pack.